Hi everyone, Luis Armato here. It feels really good to be back in the studio to bring you guys another video of our Selena Unforgettable series. This video is actually episode four and I think it's in perfect timing because we just surpassed our 4,000 Selena loving subscribers to the channel. So today is actually a very special day because 30 years ago, today, October 17th, Selena released her first album titled Selena. Now somewhere over here in my, I don't know, frame, I'm gonna put the picture of the album. Anyway, the point is that this album was released on October 17th, 1989. That was 30 years ago today. It was because of this album that she was able to do her first tour in the United States. She went to New Mexico, Arizona, and Florida. Now, in this album, there's a specific song that I really, really recommend. It's called My Love. Selena actually wrote this song herself. It's an English language song that was included last minute in the album. I really recommend it. It's one of my favorite ones, mainly because, I mean, I like the rhythm of it, but because Selena wrote it herself. That's, that's basically why I like it the most. Years later, after Selena died, they made a remake of it, an extended version that's called Don't Throw Away My Love. Personally though, I definitely would recommend the My Love one, but I will leave the links to you guys on the description and, you know, choose your favorite. Now, speaking of like secret songs that not many people know, on her second album, which was released actually a year later in 1990, Ben Conmigo, another picture I will put somewhere in here, had several songs that I highly recommend. Now, you might have already heard of Bailais Ta Cumbia, which is one of her like her basic songs, and, it, and there's actually a demo of it in La Carcacha, which actually came in the next album, but I don't want to confuse you guys. In this album, Ven Conmigo, there was a song called Enamorada de Ti, which I personally really, really like because it has that genuine feeling of what it what it's like to be in love. You know, during that honeymoon stage when you're just like really, really in love and all you can do is like think about the person. Enamorada de Ti is one of those songs that you really should dedicate to your special someone. Another one of these songs that I that I find that are secret, not many people know, is No Quiero Saber. This one's more upbeat, more danceable, and the lyrics speak to, I wanna say something like, screw everything, I just wanna focus on the good things in life, you know? Some of the lyrics say stuff like, I don't wanna know about wars, I don't wanna know about stuff like that, I just wanna think about things that are happy and things that make me feel happy. Well, in, since Selena wrote it, it's things that make Selena feel happy. Now, this second album, Ben Conmigo, besides having really amazing songs, because of the success it had in Mexico, particularly because of Baila Esta Cumbia, she was actually able to travel throughout Mexico. So she did like a second tour, but in Mexico this time to promote this album. If you have ever read um, to Selena with Love, which is the book Chris Perez wrote for Selena. Chris Perez actually speaks a lot about these tours. Unfortunately, he doesn't really say much of where he, they were or exactly um, what dates they were, but she did go to Monterey and she also went, I think, on vacations to Acapulco, which is actually pretty interesting because I was, well, I was actually, I wasn't close to Acapulco, but I was traveling through Mexico uh, throughout all this time that I haven't been giving you guys new videos, I've been traveling a lot. And all of this information you can actually see on my Instagram, which I will also leave the link to uh, on the description. I've been to little towns such as Tequila. I was also in this mining town that if you've ever seen Lord of the Rings, it kind of looks like Moria. But anyway, it's called Real de Catorce. And it's like an old mining town from way back then and it's still active. It has a population of around, I think, 1,500 people. Pretty nice, I actually went to this bar and they had like a karaoke thing. Obviously, I sang some Selena songs and I, I think it was pretty nice. Um, I was also in Cancun, so I actually haven't had the pleasure to be in Acapulco like Selena, but I was in the beach. And I was close to Acapulco last year 
in a beach called Lazaro Cárdenas. Both are very pretty. Cancun and Lazaro Cárdenas are both gorgeous. We would um, recommend them as places to go visit in Mexico if you want to feel a little bit like Selena. Although Chris Perez doesn't really say much in his book about how the traveling went, we do have the video recording of one of the concerts Selena offered in Acapulco. I believe this was in 1994 and she's singing Como La Flor, which of course all of you know that that song was her main hit from her third album, Entra Mi Mundo, which in English means Welcome to My World. We'll get into it at a... a uh, we'll get into it at a... Uh, we'll get into it at a... Uh, we'll get into it on our... <laughs> I'm sorry you guys I can I can, I, apparently I can say at a later date because my tongue is not cooperating we'll get to that album at a later episode but for now what I'm gonna leave you guys with is as a way to welcome you guys into my world as I mentioned before I'm gonna leave you guys the hyperlink to my Instagram account because a lot of the places that I've been such as tequila and Real de Catorce and Cancun and all those places I actually post all of my stories and pictures to my Instagram. I wanted to share it with you guys, so I hope you really like them. I hope that you guys have had a wonderful week so far. And as Lina always said, always remember that the impossible is always possible. And my advice, as always, is remember to have fun. Much like the fun that I had in Cancun. Safe fun. I didn't use any condoms. But anyway, we'll get into that later. I can't believe I said that! <laughs>